Excuse me. Oh my god, Halloween! Ooh. Ah. Welcome to my spooky kingdom of sti- No, wait, hold on. Welcome to my kingdom of spooky isolation? That one. Is orange spooky? Great. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, uh. It's Halloween. Uh, uh, uh. It's Halloween. Let me make it slightly brighter in here. This is ridiculous. Ah, if you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mickey Joe and I'm obsessed with all things theatre and Halloween, even though it is kind of cancelled this year. There are no parties, there is no trick-or-treating, trick-or-treating is low-key illegal. I mean, if it's illegal for random strange children to come to my door and ask for free confectionery in return for not vandalising my home, I'm not mad at that. But because I am extra and I love getting dressed up, I decided that this year I would still make a Halloween outfit and just have spooky fun times in my own home by myself. My go-to Halloween outfit, I like to try and do something stagey, but also spooky at the same time. You can't just be like Book of Mormon character, even though I have totally done that for Halloween before. It should be like undead something or like, I don't know, slutty Hamilton. Or you pick a character that's spooky in the first place, like a Beetlejuice, like Elphaba, she's a witch. I decided this year, go-to spooky character in the year of mask wearing would be Grin Pain from The Grinning Man. If you're not familiar with The Grinning Man, it's a relatively new British musical that premiered in Bristol and then came to London a couple of years ago. And it's about, I can't describe the plot of The Grinning Man briefly enough to fit into this video. It's about a dude with a scarred face that's been, he's got a mask and it's all, it's all messed up and it's funny and it's dark. And, uh, go watch The Grinning Man. An archive recording of the original Bristol Old Vic production was also streamed this year while everyone was stuck in their own homes. So if you watched that, you will know just how fun, wacky and spooky this musical really is. But he wears a mask is the whole deal. And since we have to wear masks anyway, I thought that's an appropriate Halloween outfit. And I'm pretty crafty, so I decided to try and make it for myself. And I'm going to talk you through the steps that I took to make it. So the only thing I actually went out to buy was fabric for masks. So I went and got this like gauze from a fabric shop. Now I was looking at pictures of him and the stuff he actually wears in the show is more like a flannelly type thing, but I couldn't find anything that soft. So mine was a gauze that is uncomfortable as hell. But it looks very medical and looks like the kind of stuff that you would use to cover up like an open wound on your face. I got some of that, I cut it into a long strip I folded it over itself because it was pretty thin. I didn't want you to see like my beard <laughs> beneath it. Otherwise the plot of the whole show would just be that he's embarrassed about his beard. And that's not, that's not very spooky. And I wore it over a black face mask, which let's be honest, we all have in abundance this year. I found a picture of Lewis Maskell who originally played Grim Payne in the musical and how he does his makeup for the stage. And the lower half of his face was all just painted black. So I thought a black base and then putting the mask over the top. I tied it around my face and then looked at the parts of it that needed to be sort of remolded and refitted to make it look more structured. I put two little stitches in the bottom around my chin and I put two stitches in the side so that the straps could come more up the sides of his face like they did in the reference pictures. After that, I worked out where the mouth was and cut a little bit of a hole for the mouth, A, so I could breathe and talk, and B, because he kind of has one in the show. Is that in the right place? Oh my God, hey, I'm trying not to inhale it. <laughs> oh. I then experimented with how I could make it red for like the blood-stained smile that he has using various different products. I have fake blood, I have red food coloring and I have Sharpie. And I'm hoping between the three of these we can create the desired effect. I mean, red comes up very nicely. That looks quite bloody. This is the fake blood. I don't know how old this is. Ooh, that comes up quite nicely. Oh God, bachelorette number three, come on down. I mean, that's quite intense. I'm gonna say we can use a combination of the three here Cut forwards to the finished version. We'll see what that looks like, excuse me. So I ended up using a combination of Sharpie just to like map out where the smile was gonna be and just to give it a bit of like a base. And then I went over that with red food coloring that was really dark, like around the center of the mouth and then sort of spread around the edges with uh, just some fake blood. But I have no idea where I got, what it's from, how long it's been in there. It's probably not good. I mean, can fake blood go off? I don't know. So that's pretty much how I made the mask. Everything else was just using clothes I already had and then some hair and makeup. So for my hair, I basically just sprayed it with sea salt spray and then 
filled it with wax, drenched it in hairspray to try and make it as crazy as possible. He's got like beautiful curly hair. I have no texture to my hair whatsoever. So I had to put a lot of stuff in it to make it seem more interesting than it is. So much volume in my hair. I can barely hear what I'm saying over the volume of my hair. Then for the makeup, I just wanted to look really spooky and really scary. And sort of because he's wearing a mask, the eyes and everything around there is very focused and very highlighted. So I used an amazing concealer I have, a kimchi concealer, uh, just to make my face sort of as pale as I could and ghostly looking. I sort of went around some of the wrinkles and like creases in my face to make myself look more weathered and just sad and poor. And he's got really dark eyebrows in pictures I've seen for the show, so I did that as well, just gave myself hella thick dark eyebrows, and then went really dark with black eyeshadow around my eyes. Then I did this thing that I learned when I was trying to make myself look like a dying peasant in a production of Tale of Two Cities. I went under my eyes with blush. It just makes you look like, A, like you've kind of been crying, or are close to death. You don't look well when you do this, basically, but it achieves a really cool effect of like bags under the eyes and just despair basically and then i just combined that with some clothes that i already had and that is basically how i made the grinning man look and i decided since i'd spent so much time putting the whole look together i might as well sing one of the songs from the show as well so here is my performance of labyrinth from the grinning man The city with its dark embrace Shows its twisted, damaged face And reflects the labyrinth of my mind Here amongst these winding streets Invisible I move with ease No one sees the monster walking by Whose is the mask? I'm wearing Whose is the past I'm carrying Nobody can see past my hideous grin I can't put a name to the monster within What was it? Lost within the labyrinth of my mind Everywhere I look I see the darkness eating into me Why is it the truth so hard to find? What if the face I'm hiding is all that there is? Inside me Even if I knew what had caused all this pain Why in hell would I want to feel it again?
above my mind This letter brings a pulse of life To a beating heart cut by a knife Maybe it's time to leave my past behind This search for the past hasn't healed me May even have helped to conceal me This woman sheds a true light on my disgrace Because she sees the beauty Thank you so much for watching my spooky Halloween video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you are going to be going as for Halloween, especially if it's going to be stagey and how you will be celebrating. I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a spooky day. Ah. I'm out. Wow, I really thought that was, I thought that was gonna be more dramatic. I'm out. For 10 more seconds. I'm Mickey Joe Theater. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe!